So today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Bible Hub website as part of your Bible study. Now, I typically use this site to do one of two things. Either I'm looking at multiple translations of a verse or I'm using it, it to look at my commentaries. But a note on commentaries, I only do commentaries after I have done all the my own work first. That means I've looked up the Hebrew, Aramaic or Greek. It means I've looked at cross references. It means I've used my dictionary. I've looked at the context of the thing and I still need clarification. Sometimes before I go to the commentators, I will try Googling to see what I can learn about a particular culture or what a particular thing may have meant in the Bible. But there are times when you just need either confirmation or clarity on a particular verse. So the first thing you need to do is pull up your preferred search engine. And today I'm going to be using Google. So what I would do is I would type in the verse. Let's say, for example, we're going to be looking up Zechariah 9 verse 14. So if, what I do is I type Zechariah 9 space 14 in the search bar. You can put a colon, but I normally just put a space and it works just as well. And then I'm going to look through the options that are returned and I'm going to um, select the one that says Bible Hub. Now, as you can see, it gives you the result with everything on the same screen. Well, not every translation, but every translation that Bible Hub has on their website. So what I normally do is I will start reading at the very first verse and I will just keep reading until one of them just clicks. It just makes perfect sense or until I see them starting to repeat because you're, you'll re, you will realize that once you start doing this, you're going to be seeing things that appear in multiple translations. So what I like to do is I like to just keep going through just reading until I get to one that heightens my understanding or helps me to see the verse in another light. Now, let's say we decided that we saw a particular verse um, and we wanted to look at it in that particular translation. What you need to do is you'd click on the blue words or, you know, whatever the, the thing is. So in this case, let's go into the Amplified Bible. So I would simply click the words Amplified Bible and it would take me into the full text of Zechariah chapter 9 for um, the Amplified version, which would allow me to read from verse 1 all the way through to the end. Now, if I decided I wanted to go to another verse, I could simply go to the top here and just select um, it's normally when you do it like this, it's broken down by, by chapter. So say I wanted to go to chapter 10, it would go like that. Um, let's go back. Let's say I had wanted to look at Zechariah 14 and 15 on the space. I would have been able to actually change the verse at this top section here, just by clicking on that hyperlink. And then I would select, um, the next verse and it would go or I can maneuver using the little arrows at the side beside the verse. Either way is fine. Now, the other way that I use the Bible Hub website is to look up the commentaries. And you can do it from here, but I prefer to do it the other way because I feel like I get more results there. So let's go back out to the main screen. So I'm going to close this. And since it's already there, I'm just going to put the word commentary. You can also put meaning. It works just as well. And then hit search or enter. So it comes up and it's Zechariah 914 commentaries. Now what you will realize with the commentaries is that it's going to give you the verse in the King James version of the Bible, which is fine because normally when I'm studying a verse, that's the version of the Bible I use anyways. So it's going to show you the, the verse. And it has all of the different um, commentators in that blue hyperlink beside jump to, right? So you can choose to navigate by going through. But what I do, I just actually just start reading from the top and I keep scrolling through and reading every commentary until I find one that makes sense. Now, what you'll realize with the commentaries is that they don't always say the same thing. Yes, you're going to find cases where multiple commentators will um, say or, you know, something similar. But sometimes they highlight different parts of the verse or what they may do is 
they may explain different parts or different parts of a particular verse. So they may not all be commentating on the same thing. That's why it's good for you to read different commentaries so that you get to experience different things. So look at this one, for example, the Jameson Fawcett Brown. Um, he's only focusing on specific things. So he's looking at the, you know, the other image, his arrows, lightning, um, blow the trumpet, go with the whirlwinds. And he's basically explaining those things, right? But if you look at Mat Matthew Poole's commentary, He's going like literally like phrase by phrase. Yes. And he's explaining everything. Some of the other ones, you'll find that what they're actually providing is not so much a commentary as a sermon. So you may find that when they, when they sermonize it, you may not actually get a meaning of what the verse meant because they're more focusing on the spiritual meaning of the verse instead of what it actually meant. And for me, I like to know what something means or what it meant to the people you said it to before I start trying to apply it to my personal life. But that's just, that's just my personal thing. So what I, what I will do is I'll just keep reading until I realize that they start saying something, you know, they, they start saying the same thing or until I get confirmation because as i said i'm doing this after i've already done the work so it means i already have a theory now i'm not just going to stop with the first person who agrees with what i think because that's not how you study the bible you're not going there to prove what you think you're going there to see what to see what god says right so what you need what i do i keep going i keep going to see if there's something else and what you'll find is that the commentators tend to, they tend to quote a lot of um, Jewish, old Jewish writings and also Jewish traditions. What you'll also learn from commentaries is the culture of the time, which will help you to understand why different people in the Bible did different things. All right. So that's how I use BibleHub.com um, to study the Bible and how you can too. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below and I will talk to you next time. This is Ami and I'm encouraging you to know God, know yourself, run your race.